Hi friends. So um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about, uh, again, <laughs> it's about submitting properly. Now, this is for those of you that are self-submitting, are in between agents, um, looking for an agent, um, and you might be on Actors Access or Casting Networks or Casting Frontier, um, any number one of those, um, and, and submit for things. And let me just tell you, if you don't have an agent, then you need to learn to submit properly. And I've had a few, again, I have to go through this every few weeks when I'm casting. I think a lot of it is probably actors, um, specifically in Texas, are used to lower ebb uh, productions, uh, low end, that really don't mind if you don't have a resume or a professional headshot. They just need bodies for their film and somebody that has some, uh, some acting ability. Um, so they don't care. Um, and I think a lot of actors here are used to that and they're used to submitting that way. And what that is is just bad advice. It's, it's bad protocol. And it's not proper. So many of you need to learn how to use Dropbox, Google Docs, WeTransfer, these apps. You must learn to use these. We use these a lot. Um, and a lot of actors don't know how to use them. They email me back and say, I don't know what this is. It's because you've never had experience uploading professionally to a someone. Um, usually agents will always do this for their actors unless they allow their actors to self-submit for things. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. It's, it's protocol and the process and the way you submit. That makes all the difference. We can tell right away that you haven't had any experience um, or very limited experience in submitting properly to a casting call um, or to a production. And we can tell right away. And if we ask you to redo things or change things or, or shoot them differently or redirect you in some way, then please do that and send it back to us properly per instructions that we had given you. Um, read the instructions and do it the correct way. Um, always on your resumes, I get this a lot too, resumes are important and I know that many of you, this again is for self-submitting, always, none of you ever put your cell phone on your resume. I don't know why. It's very important because we're always needing your cell phone to get in touch with you for whatever reason. Yes, we can go through email, but if you're booked and we want to cast you and book you, there's times where we need to call you and we have to keep asking for your cell phone number over and over. Please send us your cell phone. And and one or two of you that that's different, but when it comes down to, you know, hundreds of you that we don't have a cell phone on your resume, it gets frustrating because we have to keep emailing you and emailing these actors. So your name, email address, phone number. Put it in the body of your email. I know that some of you have said, I don't know how to do that. It's very simple. Your email has settings. You go into your settings and you scroll down until you see where you can actually put in your information. And it automatically, every time you email somebody, that will automatically be in your emails, the body of your email. So you don't ever have to worry about it. If it's there, it's great. And you won't have to constantly uh, type it in each time you send out an email. So just to let you know that. And dates are very important uh, when we send out dates. Uh, you know the dates that we have. Um, we can't change them because locations are secured. Um, and other actors that may be on board are secured for that date. And crew are secured for that date. So dates are very important. So always look at the dates. And I have a number of actors that... I reach out to privately simply because I know who they are and I know they might be a good fit for something and I'll reach out to them and I understand uh, when they write me back and say oh I'm, I'm booked on something that day or I'm busy that day or um, that's fine once maybe twice but when it's repeated um, and I get that actors <laughs> I used to do this myself if you're, if you, it's something you really don't want to do, but you don't want to upset anybody, you're going to say, oh, I'm booked on that day. I'm very sorry. I can't make it. 
I get that. Actors do it all the time uh, simply because they don't want to do this one or whatever the case may be. But um, if they do it more than that, I, I stop calling them. They go on a do not call list because apparently they don't want to work on some of the projects that, that I can bring to them. And that's fine. But we always do know when you tell us you're booked on something else and, um, you know, we are social media savvy. Let's put it that way. Because we, we do see your posts and what you're working on. We know where you're at and what you're doing and what you've worked on and if you work that day. So <laughs> just remember that. We, uh, we do see those things, believe it or not. We see all social media, whether it's Insta, Facebook, you know, it could be your YouTube. We know what's going on. Um, we actually caught an actor one time that did an audition for a TV series, and he had an NDA signed um, sides, and he actually posted the audition on his YouTube, um, which is a huge no-no. You cannot do that because that was an NDA that he signed. Uh, because people don't need to know a TV series and, you know, what's going on. So, um, we actually found that and immediately wrote him and said, you need to immediately take this down. Um, you are going against your NDA that you signed. And that is legal and binding. So, just to let you know that. Um, so, I just wanted to share that with you all today. It's snowing. It's snowing here. So... I'm inside for the day, I'm going through files, I'm going through emails, I'm doing a lot of extra work that I normally don't have time for, so today's a good day for that. So for you actors, if you're stuck at home, uh, it's a good day for you to go in and update your resume, update your IMDb, um, you know, check all the boxes, you know, if you don't know how to do something, look it up, Google it, there's tutorials on everything, you know, so do that, and um, we will talk soon.